You think me mad. I can see it by the look in your eyes. You think my story is impossible. Perhaps I am mad. Who would not be driven mad by horrors such as I have lived? But I assure you, every word is true. Wait! Stop! The guest rooms, where my father, all our entourage, and I should have passed the night lay cold and silent. The sands of time had swept through, stealing life and warmth from everything they touched. And I, who unleashed the cataclysm, had been spared. Were there others like me, who yet clung to life, hiding in fear among the ruins? It did not seem so. Had I really seen her? Or had my senses given way under the burden of horrors too great to bear and conjured up a phantom? Either way, I could not rest until I had found her again. to realize why the vizier wanted it so badly. I soon discovered that when I had collected enough sand, the dagger gained the power to stop time. Not for me, but for the enemy I struck. Whence came these visions that assaulted me thus like fever dreams? Each time I awoke feeling drained and beaten. And each time, what I had seen came to pass. 
as if the sands of time were giving me a glimpse into my own future. anymore. Water. What happened? That's strange. I feel wonderful. I had experienced by accident in the Maharaja's treasure room, Whoa. I now discovered that I could trigger at will. By pressing a switch on the dagger's handle, I could turn back time. Now I remembered her. Since we left India, she had been there. In the desert, I had felt her dark eyes upon me. Now, here she was again. She and I, the only two survivors. Did I say two? Excuse me, we were three. <laughs> 